Today, I've been feeling like I wanted to redesign the Subaru logo using Figma. Please, stay tuned. Alright, so as I said earlier in the intro, I'm going to be redesigning the Subaru logo using Figma. Let's get started. Alright, so right now I'm on my fonts, apparently to here. The Subaru font that they use is Square S21 STD Bold Extended. So what I'm going to do now is go to Google Fonts to see if I can find a font similar to that. And I'll come back to you guys when I am done. Alright, so currently I'm back. I chose a couple of fonts. As you can see right here, the first one I chose was Tiltum or Tiltum Web. And the second one that I chose was Chivo. And the third one is Questrio. So I chose them because the S is right here. It's flat. It's a, um, a good, uh, decent amount flat. Like this, like this section in Subaru. It's mainly squished out, but. I mean I can work with that and um, the boldness doesn't really matter because I can add a stroke to it making it bolder and things like that um, there's a few kerning I might have to do um, but besides that I feel like these are the best suited so next I'm going to go to the sketching phase um, get some ideas down and then I'll get back to you guys alright you guys I got my phone here um, I'm going to be sketching my ideas down on my phone and I'll be screen recording it so you guys can see I'll explain a little bit in the process let's get this done so basically to start out with I basically put the word Subaru and I put some imagery and some words that could help me come up with some ideas so the first one that I came up with is Subaru with the, the stars in it or um, a simplistic way of just putting the stars instead of giving them detail just put it in circles and have one star to know it's like multiple stars since it has six another idea is I just decided what if they just had one star or if I incorporated it with an S or a U and then these are just different ideas I had of maybe uh, the S and the star could be a logo of its own giving it a little bit of flavor but I like the way they had the star so I decided what if they just had one star as their uh, logo and they could basically refer to it back then and then I don't know for some reason like you got to put your bad ideas as well down but for those logos right there that worded ones that you just saw I try to do those in the style of the super stars um, since there's six uh, letters in the word this one you see right now is just an, an S I tried to put through a star but it ended up looking like a road through a mountain so I scrapped that and this one I just um, tried to experiment and incorporate the star with the logo and that one I just put the star with a word mark so that's basically what I got now let's get to designing process so basically for this first one I just wanted to play off of what Subaru already had I tried to get the text as uh, close as I could but this is where I started making a star. I tried to make a custom star and like stretch out the right side where I'm viewing it right now um, but uh, that didn't necessarily work. So I just got a default star from Figma, um, edited that a little bit and that worked way much better. As of right now I'm just aligning some of the stars. Um, I put them in circles to just make it a little bit more um, simple. Right here I'm just putting color just to test it and uh, shrinking down the oval. I wanted to put like a softness to the star, to curve it a bit, maybe give it like a gradient in the background or like a shadow. That's what I was trying to go but I was like maybe it would just work better in solid colors. Right here I'm just adjusting it. This, um, this got me a little bit upset but we got it eventually, I had to uh, flip it around, usually it's a good thing to flip around your things. I got, um, I got this uh, font, um, it was too thin, so what I did is I gave it an outline, um, and then I flattened it down, turned it into a vector shape, uh, did some kerning. I tested it a little bit in curving it, but um, that's what I added. 
So for this one, I tried to attempt to again make this star. Um, but I wanted to see if I could try and keep the points, but it wasn't working so well. I tried to run the, around the corners, but it looked like lines and it was just all messy as you can see right here. Um, even just putting the curve at one destroyed the whole thing. So I'm like, let me, let me try something else. And I decided to just like take a star from already uh, an already existing star and subtract it from a circle and put screw in it like kind of like Nissan but instead have a star to make it unique and then I did another one where Subaru wasn't in the star and I feel like it turned out pretty so for this last one I wanted to turn the S into a logo I'm um, taking the S from Subaru and putting it as their um, logo and you could also put it in as their word mark as Suzuki does um, but I wanted to give it like another kind of character so I, I decided to make it more round since Subaru is like a more friendly company its um, catchphrase is actually love so I wanted to incorporate some of that but then I decided to scratch it and stick with like their main star and just keep their main star like that I don't I felt like the other stars were not necessarily necessary um, but to keep the familiar familiar familiarity I decided to just put their main star okay you guys so it's a new day I came in with a new shirt and you can see I'm in the bathroom right now but anyways we finished up all the logos uh, so I'm gonna put them in color I'm gonna show it in front of you guys vote for your favorite one in the comments down below and whichever one wins will be announced in the next video so stay tuned don't forget to like comment subscribe share this video with friends and family and god bless you guys and catch you guys next.